Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Uh, in this lecture, we will discuss our experiment number two, uh, which is how to perform plane turning operation on CNC lathe using CNC simulator software. Uh, like previous lecture, before doing practical work, here again we will first check the our design code with the help of simulator software for any error. Uh, so let's start with the experiment. Turning is a machining process used to make cylindrical parts in which the cutting tool moves in a linear fashion while the workpiece rotates. Generally in turning, it reduces the diameter of the workpiece to a specified dimension and produces a smooth part finish. For every lathe operation, care should be taken that a cutting tool or parting tool which, one, which we are using should be harder than the material of the workpiece so that it can be able to cut the workpiece into the desired shape. For every mechanical operation on lathe machine, uh, for good finish, we will use two types of cut. The one is roughing cut and the second one is finishing cut. The objective of rough cut is to remove bulk amount of excess material from the workpiece in every pass. This can be done with the high feed rate and with high, uh, more depth of the cut size. In this case, the material to move rate will be high, but the surface roughness will be very rough or poor. An old cutter can be utilized for the roughing purposes. After roughing cut is the finishing cut. The objective of finishing cut is to improve surface finish, dimensional accuracy and tolerance. This can be done by using very low feed rate. And the material to move rate in this cut is very low, but surface roughness will be good and the surface finish is also uh, with accurate. It can provide high dimensional accuracy and close tolerance. For this purpose, choose sharp cutter and with a good finish tip. In here, I have repeated some slides. Uh, the last one was from the introduction lecture of machine shop, uh, in which turning was discussed in detail with tool and types of cut. Uh, now, this is our present experiment. Uh, you can see these are two the different jobs. Uh, which we have to perform today using uh, simulator software. Uh, this one is our raw material and this is our required workpiece. Uh, you can see the dimension of raw material is 100 mm by 40 mm. Now here the dia is 40 mm. Uh, we have to reduce it up to 20 mm. Now the total length is 100 mm. Again the 20 mm length will be clamped in the chuck like we did in the previous job of facing machine, a facing operation and up to 70 mm we will reduce this dia from 40 mm to 20 mm now you see here dia is 40 mm and here dia is 20 mm up to 70 mm length we have to reduce it up to 20 mm so 70 mm length will be reduced to 20 mm dia 20 mm length will be in the chuck of the lathe machine so this is the experiment which will we will perform today on cnc simulator software with the help of gnm codes which we have discussed earlier in the last lecture too. Now starting with the CNC simulator. Now first you will open the CNC simulator software. Then you will click on the top right side on the icon file manager. Then this window will appear. Now uh, there are three options you can see. The open project is option used to continue work from previous session. I mean if you have already a job saved you can open it from this option. Uh, the save is for saving the current progress and new project is for starting new job as we are doing here for facing operation. So we will start with the new project option. After starting the new project, you will set now the workpiece parameters. For this, you will click this icon here, second right, right top side. This win window will appear. Now this is the workpiece length. This is the initial length of our raw material, which I have set. 100 mm. This is the workpiece diameter, which is the initial diameter of our raw material, which is in this case 40 mm. This is the clamp length. Uh, clamp length is the length inside this chug. Here you can say the length of the raw material inside this chug is known as the clamp length, which I have set 20 mm for good clamping. We have set all the initial parameters of the, our raw material 100 mm length, 40 mm diameter. All these are the initial parameters of our raw material before facing operation. After setting the workpiece parameters, now you have to select the tool parameters. For this, 
you will click this third icon in this figure this is for the tool selection when you click this icon this window will appear here you can see you have different options for tools for turning facing there are different tools uh, now in this case we will select this five number tool which is for general turning and facing for selecting the tool uh, you have to drag the tool like in this way from here you drag the tool this like and put it there by doing this you have selected now the five number tool which is for general turning and facing uh, we have no need to change the, these parameters of the tool uh, you can see that there are options for selecting other tools like two three four five uh, these are used for uh, selecting multiple tools like you have studied that in tool post multiple tools can be adjusted at one time so this option is used for selecting multiple tool selection uh, now before starting the coding i will summarize uh, up till now what we have done uh, first we have opened the cnc simulator then we have opened the new project then from here we have set the workpiece parameters this this option then from here we have selected the tool uh, i think i missed uh, this highlighting option in the previous slide so this is the third option for selecting the tool now the fourth option this is used for the coding you have to when you will click this uh, icon a new window will appear like this i have written the code but uh, when you will click the, uh, this icon there will appear a new blank window okay then you have to write the code for the facing operation or what operation you have to do i have explained i have explained this coding in the later slides but here i will tell you for every code there are three parts the first part the middle part and the end part uh, this is the first part of the program like the from here this line to uh, this line this is the first part uh, this is the middle part from this line to the this line and this is the end part from this line to this line uh, the first part of the program is generally used for switching options like which units you are going to use metric or inches similarly to switch on the coolant while the middle part is related with the workpiece details uh, you will define workpiece here like its length diameter which option you have to perform all these details will be written here in the end part you will now close the program and other things like if the coolant is on you will write the command here for switching off the coolant similarly m30 is used like this line it is used to close the program uh, for writing the program you can use your own keyboard and also the simulator on option for writing can be used uh, which i have discussed in detail in the coming slides uh, this is the keyboard of cnc simulator software i was talking about in the previous slide uh, this is the icon in the bottom taskbar by clicking this icon in the bottom taskbar of the cnc simulator software where the writing code option is uh, this keyboard will appear as uh, you can see this keyboard covers almost all the uh, required alphabets and all numbers are present in the keyboard also other necessary button like enter delete and backspace is also present here brackets are also present uh, so you can see you can use uh, this virtual keyboard of crc simulator or if you don't want to use this you can use your own laptop or a computer keyboard it's up to you uh, which keyboard you want to use for your own comfort uh, this is the code uh, we will be using today for turning operation uh, here you see many codes are same uh, used for facing operation the first experiment uh, so i have added the description from the previous slide uh, these are general codes like for coolant on off uh, setting spindle speed or selecting unit system uh, they will remain same for every task uh, so uh, it is better if you memorize them i will advise uh, they will help you uh, however uh, I will explain the new code here used for turning operation. Now starting with the code explanation, uh, I will start with the very first line which was a triple zero one. Uh, this uh, line is the start with the code O and it uh, O triple zero one. Uh, while writing a program on Funi controller, first line has to be start with O letter. Uh, it will fo always followed by a four digit number. The number specifies from triple zero one to double nine double nine i mean if this is the range of the it's or code 
uh, whenever you write a program it always have to be specified by specific number uh, so in the very first line we will specify our program code by giving it a specific number Moving towards the next line, uh, this is the N10, G21, G99, G40. Uh, starting with the N10 line, uh, whenever N code is used, uh, it is used to define the name or title of block of G code. So simply, it defines the uh, line number. Uh, so N10 means N uh, line number 10. Uh, the next is G21. Uh, G21 code is used to switch between the metric system of units. Uh, so when you, we have used G21 code, so uh, every dimension written in the code will be considered in millimeters. It is used for metric units in millimeters. Uh, G99 code, G99 code select the units of the feed rate. So whenever uh, in the code uh, you have given the feed rate, it will consider it in millimeter per revolution. So we can say that we have now set our units in millimeter and we have set our feed rate in millimeter per revolution. Every value you give in the code, the length of the dimension will be in millimeters and the feed rate will be taken automatically in millimeter per revolution with the help of G21 and G99 code. Uh, G40 code is used for tool radius compensation. It, it, there are two other codes, G41 and G42 for left and right tool radius compensation but here uh, with the help of G40 uh, we, it, uh, we are selecting automatic tool radius compensation uh, now the machine will uh, CNC, our CNC will automatically uh, select the tool radius compensation according to the our tool and workpiece uh, now discussing about uh, G00 code this code is used for the rapid uh, uh, sorry, uh, G00 code is used for rapid uh, positioning of tool. For example, if the tool is away from the workpiece by using the G00 code, the tool will rapidly position towards the workpiece. This is the purpose of G00 code. Uh, G28 code. G28 code is used to move the tool to, the, to a reference point. Initially, we will set a reference point for the tool. Uh, so when we use a G28 code after the work is finished, the tool will move to its reference point which we have set earlier. Uh, U0 and W0, these are the secondary movements about Z and Y axis. These are used to move the tool in the uh, uh, X and Y axis according to our positioning. Now st uh, starting with the next command, uh, this was T0101. Uh, normally T command is used for changing of tool. As we have discussed earlier, there are a number of tools, almost four tools can be applied at different tool posts. So T, uh, T command is used for changing of tool. Here the first two digits 0, 1, it represents the tool number 1. And the second 0, 1, this number represents the offset number. It means uh, we have tool number 1 at one position. I am calling my tool, uh, which I have number, in number 1 position, to offset number 1 for the facing operation. 
so whenever t command is used it is used for changing of tool it can be 0 1 0 2 0 2 0 1 different tools at different numbers always remember the tool position for calling the specific tool for specific operation uh, like I have installed my tool at one first position in the earlier slides uh, so I am calling recalling it from the first position uh, the next line is G96 uh, G96 is used to rotate the spindle at constant RPM uh, so here you see the next code is S500 uh, both commands together means now the spindle will rotate constantly with the RPM of 500 revolution per minute the rotation unit revolution per minute was selected in the previous slides the next is M03 uh, M03 is used for selecting clockwise rotation uh, its opposite is M04 uh, which when uh, applied the uh, spindle will rotate in anti-clockwise direction Uh, now x42 and z2 uh, this command is new here uh, for explaining the command uh, i have to draw the workpiece so let me draw the workpiece uh, let's suppose this is your workpiece and this is x axis perpendicular to the workpiece and this is the z axis so x42 and z42 uh, these are used to give the initial points to the tool uh, as you remember our diameter was 40 so let me write our diameter was 40 and the length of our workpiece was 100 mm and this length was 100 mm so by x42 and z2 uh, what will happen our tool will move uh, 2 mm away from the workpiece in x direction and 2 m away from the workpiece in z direction uh, let's suppose this is our tool here this is the point this is the point there will be 2 mm clearance in both axes from z axis it will be 2 mm away from the tool and from x axis it will be 2 mm away from the oh, sorry, workpiece our tool will be this is gap is 2 mm so by giving that uh, command of x42 and z2 our tool will move just to this point 2 mm away from the workpiece when we start cutting it will then cut the tool in both direction because our workpiece will be rotating and with the movement of tool it will be cut in both direction in circular direction uniformly uh, no G90 command. Uh, this command is used for turning cycle. Uh, this cycle is used to, to uh, for stock removal in parallel tool part. Uh, 
uh, for explaining this uh, let me draw the workpiece now suppose this is your workpiece and this is your tool uh, now parallel tool path means for reducing the dial your tool will move in this direction and along the z axis remember the axis i have drawn uh, this one was your z axis and this one was your x axis now what will happen uh, with the help of using gene entry command there are four options four uh, different steps are going uh, to be performed in gene entry cycle rapid to x position a rapid to x position it will give the tool movement in x direction in this direction uh, in the last slide i said the x direction was perpendicular to y piece uh, basically x and z are perpendicular to each other uh, i have, have been mistaken in the last slide uh, so x and z are perpendicular to each other rapid to x motion this will give the tool motion in this direction and rapid to z position speed will give the uh, movement to the tool in this direction so first our tool will move in into the workpiece for cutting and with the help of z fit it will move in this direction similarly fit to start expedition when our required cut is finished tool will move back to the initial position and rapid to start z position then it will again move into the workpiece and this cycle continue i will explain the cycle in the next slide uh, this is the our turning cycle these four commands are explained in the next slide too Uh, here is the cycle and the four dif uh, four different moves with one line of information. Uh, these are the four different moves uh, which are explained in the next slide too. Uh, now these are the four commands: uh, one, two, three, four, which I, I am going to explain. Uh, let me again draw the workpiece. Let's suppose this is our workpiece. Uh, this one is our z-axis. This one is our x-axis. and let's say this is our tool so initially what will happen uh, remember our dia was 40 mm this whole dia was 40 mm let me write it here this is 40 mm dia and uh, the whole length was 100 mm and the whole length was 100 mm but uh, we have discuss in the initial slide we will reduce dia from 40 to 20 mm uh, let us uh, assume this middle line is 20 mm no uh, let me draw the new line let's say this is 20 mm line this is 20 mm and uh, we have discussed we will uh, reduce the diameter to 20 mm up to 70 mm length the whole length is 100 mm and let's say this point is 70 mm so uh, what we are going to do in this cycle the first x35 z70 x35 now the tool will move into the workpiece up to 35 mm let's say about up to this point this is 35 mm tool will move from this point to this point and it will cut up to 70 mm this is x35 and z70 now what we have done the tool have reduced its 5 mm dia the dia from 40 mm it comes to uh, 35 mm up to 70 mm length next is x25 mm for x25 mm this will happen from this point uh, let's say this is up to 25 mm this green line now what happened from 35 it comes to oh sorry 30 mm uh, this is 30 mm let me write this is 30 mm from 35 it now comes to 30 mm up to 70 mm and so again after 30 mm it will then come to 25 mm this is 25 mm red one now again 25 mm up to 70 mm length so these four cycles are continuously repeating first move into the workpiece then along z axis then come back then move into the workpiece then along z axis so in the fourth step we will reduce the dia from 40 mm to 20 mm along 70 mm length now at the end what will happen our whole this part will come about dia of 20 mm this all part will be cut off our work piece will be off now 20 mm at the diameter up to 70 mm length 
uh, now after x35 and z70 uh, this f05 0.5 this is the feed rate and m0 this is for uh, coolant on uh, so let me summarize uh, with the help of turning cycle uh, this whole cycle uh, and its four pressure we have reduced the dia up to 20 mm length the initial length was 40 mm we reduced it to 20 mm along 70 mm length up to this point okay uh, we have done the turning in four uh, different steps not in the one single step as discussed in the last lecture uh, this is for safety of tool otherwise tool will get heat up uh, if there is still any ambiguity uh, you can we watch each step separately discuss in the video in the last slide uh, so in this lecture also the in the last slide there is a video which you can see which have clear pictures for better understanding of each and every step now coming to the end of the program as discussed earlier there are three parts of program first part was the initialization which we have said then the middle part in which we have written all the code including g94 now the end of the program at the end of the program the first one is uh, g00 g00 gives the rapid linear interpolation position to the tool means it moves the tool away from the workpiece to a specified position rapidly uh, z10 it is similar uh, the tool will move 10 mm away from the workpiece in the positive z direction means it again moving the tool away from the workpiece and m09 m09 is used for turning the coolant off in the previous slide we have used m08 in which we have turned the coolant on now, now in m09 we have turned the coolant off Uh, g28 uh, if by chance if you have not used g00 and uh, then g28 reference point uh, returns the tool first to g00 position uh, this is uh, often known as intermediate position to which tool is returned then after g00 it will go back to the home position uh, here uh, reference points u w these are all long about x and z axis i have uh, selected both 0 0 so the tool will now return to x 0 and y 0 at the end there is m30 m30 is used for the completion of the control program it is always used at the end of the program now here our program is complete at m30 so far your coding is complete your program is complete now we have to run the simulation for checking if any error is there we can uh, notify uh, this is the play button from here you can run the simulation so if there is any error it will be notified as discussed earlier before working we will run the simulation for checking the error uh, here is the pause and stop button if you want to pause or stop the program you can use these buttons 
and this bookmark icon this is used uh, if you have any confusion regarding any code then click this icon uh, the detail for every code will be available to you for checking of any code or any other information regarding the code up till now your work is complete your code is complete simulation has been done so now we have to save the project again click the top most icon in the right side by clicking this icon this window will appear here you will see, click the save project and by clicking by clicking this option you will save the current all progress uh, remember that don't use space in between the alphabets always use underscore sign because the space sign will not be read by the software so use underscore sign in between the alphabets if you have to use them uh, also in the next slide there is complete video for the program written along with running simulation uh, each step is described live one by one for better understanding so if you have any confusion so far please see the video in the next slide recorded in Urdu. A video will give you the detail of every step with running simulation and thank you.